The steps have a bunch of those rubber bits on it. Give me a good grip. Edison, our power company here in Southern California, has been cutting down trees and branches to protect the power line. As a result, there's a lot of piles of shredded wood around. I collected a whole bag of it. Here's the end result of the epoxy and shredded wood. I stuffed it as deep into the cracks as I could. Here's some shredded wood and resin that went off before I got it into the mast. It's pretty strong. I've got the mast on rollers so that I can spin it easily to get to the next section that needs to be sanded. Here's a box of sawdust I've been saving from all the wood cutting I did before. So shredded wood didn't go very well into the smaller cracks. So just pack in what I can of the sawdust to even it out on the surface. These cracks are going to get fiberglass cloth stuffed inside of them and I'll go all the way up to the top. There's about a hundred feet of this one inch wide fiberglass cloth crammed into all of the cracks. It was easy to work with because you can get the fiberglass resin into it easily since it's so thin and then I just stuffed it in until it was full. Here it is, all sanded down. This is fiberglass cloth stuffed into the crack and then filled with fiberglass resin that's mixed in with sawdust. Down here, it's different. About starting from here, it's fiberglass resin mixed in with the shredded wood. And then I filled it in with some body filler, some Bondo sanded it all down. Here's the latest version of the mast. I painted it black. Right now it's glossy, but this paint will dull in about a month. It'll look a lot better. This is where one of the big cracks was. You can barely see it. I used the fiberglass cloth for the top of the mast because I think it could do with some extra strength because it's got so much leverage put on it from the power of the wind relative to where it's secured at the bottom. The bottom half of the mast I don't think needs anything which is why I used the shredded wood. Got a whole bunch of this stuff. It's weather stripping. That goes on the acrylic. Then the acrylic piece is placed inside. And then I've got some plywood that I've already coated with linseed oil. Now I'm ready for the next rain. Here's the beginnings of the companionway hatch. Here it is with some racing stripes on it.